The average American in 2023 gets about $1,600 a month in Social Security. Are you average? Will you get $1,600 a month? Will you get a lot more or will you get a lot less? You could get $100 a month. What a lot of people think is that just because I'm an American, I'm going to get a certain amount. I'm going to get, and it seems like most people feel like it's like $1,500 a month, that they're going to get $1,500 a month in retirement. And that's not based in reality. How much you get is based on how much you work. Social security is pay to play. You pay in out of all your payroll taxes. So if you didn't work very much, you didn't pay in very much, you're not gonna get very much social security. You might've worked a lot, but you had very low paying jobs or you were in and out of the workforce, or you might have worked under the table a lot and you thought you were outsmarting the system by not paying those payroll taxes. Well, when it comes to social security time, you have an accumulated money to then pull out. Let's look at payroll taxes. Out of every paycheck, if you're employed, 6.2% will be taken out of your gross pay for social security taxes. And then 1.45% will be taken out for Medicare. Then your employer will match that. Now, if you're self-employed, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit here. Self-employed, you're gonna pay that whole 15.3% out of your own gross taxes. The main thing is, is that you are paying in. Social security is pay to play. You are paying in. If you never pay in, you're never getting out unless you're going to draw as a spouse. So a lot of people think, um, you know, I, I didn't work very much, but I deserve a certain amount. Well, it's not, has nothing to do with what you deserve. It has to do with how much you paid in. And if you were really, really rich and you, you, let's say you made a half a million dollars or a million dollars every year, you might think, wow, I'm going to get $10,000 a month in social security. No, you will not. Social security only taxes a certain amount of your income. So when you look at this FICA amount up here, this is only out of your first $160,000. So if you make half a million dollars or a million dollars, they're not taking this social security FICA out. They'll still take the Medicare out. They're going to take Medicare out of every last dollar. But if you're like, well, I should probably get $10,000 a month. No, nobody gets $10,000 a month. The person getting the highest Social Security amount this year, 2023, is about $4,500 a month. That's the richest person. That's the person that made the highest income that Social Security tax for all those years and delayed taking Social Security until age 70. So if you were in that boat, the most you would make this year is still only $4,500. It's not going to be 10, 20, $30,000 for people that made millions or billions of dollars. So how much you get is based on how much you worked and paid in. And you don't have to wait until you're retired to find out this mystery. You can go to the social security website, socialsecurity.gov or ssa.gov right now and set up your free account. And then that will give you an estimate how much you will get at 62, 63, 64, 65 at your full retirement age, how much you would get if you delayed all the way to age 70. Now that will tell you your numbers, how much you paid in. And it's really important you go look at that because a lot of times there's errors, there's holes. And you're like, what happened in 1993? I worked in 1993 and there's zeros there. This is a time to go check it out, get it fixed before you're actually drawing social security. Because as you can imagine, this is going to take a little work to actually get it fixed. Especially women that got married, changed their names. There's people that definitely have errors on their social security report. Um, sometimes your employer had your wrong social security number or your employer was maybe not on the up and up and just never reported. So go check it out and give it get an idea how much you could get in retirement. You don't have to wait until you're at retirement age to find out. Cross-reference that with the cheat sheet. That will tell you how much more you get what percentage more you get if you wait till 63 or 64 or 65. It gives you all your percentages. So that's a good thing. You can go download off our website, themedicarefamily.com. That together with your exact information is going to help you make those retirement decisions. The important thing to know about Social Security is if you want to get more Social Security, you need to pay in more. You need to work longer. Social Security is based on your highest 35 years of earnings. A lot of people think it's only based on your highest five years or your highest 10 years. It's based on your highest... 35 years. So if one of those or a couple of those years were zeros and you want to work a couple more years, you can see how that will alter the balance and how much you're going to get in social security.
So if you go on and do the estimate and you're like, my social security is not very high. I'm going to get $300 a month. Remember that you might be able to draw in another capacity, not on your own work history. I might draw off my spouse if half of my spouse's amount is more than all of my amount. So help your spouse set up their own account and then go check. And instead you might draw as a sp off of your spouse or you might draw off your former spouse. Now, you're not, you can't talk to your former spouse and ask him, hey, how much are you going to get? If you don't have an idea, then in order to figure that out for retirement, you will have to call the Social Security office and you will have to provide them with proof of your marriage and divorce, original documents or certified copies, and then they will tell you. So you have some idea as you're getting ready for retirement. I hope this helped. If it did, hit subscribe. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.